Hello friends, I am Dr. Adhesh Singh and I welcome you to Adhesh Academy. And today we are going to discuss about the mystery of this world. This world is very, very mysterious. We sometimes understand that there is a law of karma. Everybody reaps what is sold. But in the real world, we are often baffled to see that some people who are doing all the wrong things sometimes succeed and some people who are doing all the right things sometimes fail. We shatter our belief. Where is God? Where is the law of karma? Why bad things are happening to the good people and good things are happening to the bad people? So we have to understand why this is happening. Now, in order to understand this world, let us understand that this life is like a game of cards. Why I am saying so? Because I find this as a perfect analogy to understand this world. Let us say you are playing a particular game of cards with a champion, somebody who has got years of experience and you are playing that game first time in your life. If you are playing any other game like badminton, cricket and all that, you have no chance of success. But if you are playing a game of cards and you get all three aces square, then irrespective of the experience, expertise, knowledge, skill of the champion, you are bound to win the game if he does not have that many good cards. So a novice can win the game of cards if he has got the best cards. It is as simple as that. You can defeat even the champion in the game of cards. This is how the world works. Now let me tell you a story. Three men died in a road accident. They went to heaven, sent matter met him in the heaven gate. They said, look, we have a rule here in heaven. You can live in heaven as much as you want. But don't step on a duck. If you step in a duck, you will be punished. There are so many ducks all around. The three men went to the heaven. They were enjoying their life. They were trying to be careful and see that they don't step on a duck. But unfortunately, one man stepped on a duck. Immediately, St. Peter came with a very ugly woman. And they have put him together and said, now you have to live with this woman for eternity. After that, the other two men become very, very cautious. Now they are moving very, very carefully. But after some time, the second man also committed the same mistake. He put his leg on a duck. And again, St. Peter came with even more ugly women. And put them together and said, now you have to live with her eternally. The third guy was very, very careful and he was trying to see that he doesn't put his leg on any of the duck. One day suddenly what happened, that St. Peter came with, one of, with the most beautiful girl, with the most beautiful lady and put them together. Now this guy was very, very happy and then he did not know why he got this award. So he asked this lady, I wonder, you know, how I got this award. He said, I don't know what you have done, but I put my leg on a duck. The meaning is that she was punished. And because of she was punished to be with the most ugly man in this world, this guy got a benefit of being with the most beautiful woman of the world. So you see, sometimes you get award, success because of somebody else's fault. You are fighting an election and there is a scandal charge against your opponent. You win hands down without any effort. You are writing an exam, you make a guess and your guesses turn out to be right. Well, you win. You are writing an exam, got stuck up in a question, wasted half an hour, you failed. This is all luck. So luck is very, very important. 
And that is why if you find that some bad person is having a good time, because he just got lucky. And if a good person got a bad time because he has got a bad luck, there is a lot of randomness in the world. You are going on a road, driving your car very carefully. Now a truck comes from back side, that guy is drunken. He just, you know, crush your car. You got serious injury. Not your fault. But this happened. So you get sometime awards, not because of you, and similarly you get sometime punishment, not because of you. So life is like a game of cards. But friends, one thing you must understand that luck is not favorable to anybody all the time. Let us take a talking of the coin, which is purely a matter of luck. It is possible that you get four heads or five heads in a row. But if the coin is tossed for a long time, let us say for 100 times or 200 times or a thousand times, then most likely your favorable and your unfavorable will cancel each other and ultimately your effort, your merit, your performance, your ability is going to work. So when you are trying to sometimes get disillusioned because some bad people have got success, don't get disillusioned because they are just lucky at that particular time. If you see their life history after 50 years, 60 years or a long period of time, luck will cancel each other and ultimately their performance and the karma only will work. And therefore, luck is not in your hand, don't worry about that, keep doing the good karma and ultimately it is the karma which is going to lead you to success. So I hope you have understood this lesson that life is like a game of cards. Occasionally, good people can win, good people can lose and bad people can win but eventually it is the good which is going to succeed and the bad is going to be fine. So let's do good karma, let's not get scared away by the temporary losses and defeats and that is the way of success. That is the way of peace and that is the way of happiness. Thank you very much for watching my video and if you like the video, kindly share your views and tell me if there is any other topic on which you would like to hear from me. Thank you very much.